Okay, next question was, uh, what sort of experience and qualifications are required for the entry level positions? It's, it's a fairly broad question because yeah. there's so many different types of entry level positions. Um, but let's, let's focus on say like a SOC analyst uh, level one type position. Generally for a lot of security roles, prior IT experience is extremely helpful. So depending on the role you want to go down. So in application security, if or um, a web apps pen tester, then having a development background is bloody handy. Yeah. Um, if you want to be working a SOC, then maybe working as a network engineer would be extremely helpful because there's a lot of experiences that you can um, ref mirror, uh, but it's just a different variation. Um, so it just depends uh, because again, as you know, security is is not one thing. It's there's there's I don't know, 20, 30 plus different roles yeah. that make up the industry. And they're all, they're all slightly different. And it's, it's why I recommend to people that you need to think about where you want to work in X amount of time and work backwards to learn those skills. Yeah. So if, if you're speaking, you know, for argument's sake, again, you mentioned SOC analysts. So the easiest thing to do would be to hit up some SOC analysts and then ask them, what do you, what do you do in your day job? What skills do you actually use? Um, are the universities and, and environments out there teaching the real world skills? Yeah. Large percentage? No, they're not. Um, so a lot of that comes down to self-learning. And yeah. that's where whatever role you're in, hiring managers want to see self-learning. And if you're self-learning a lot of the stuff, you know, you've you've um, you know played around with some different tools that might be used, you know, free versions in a or open source tools that might be used in a um, in a in a SOC or you know you've done different training or you want to be a pen tester so i'm not even going to talk about ceh um but <laughs> don't, don't even um, talk about ceh i don't want to hear it <laughs> um but you know you, you're working towards maybe your oscp um or you're playing around with hack the box pen tester lab um you know di different things like that or you don't want to be a pen tester but you're learning those offensive skills because they'll be pretty handy because it's just good to have broad experience anyway. Yep. Um, but I think the bigger thing is, is to just try and figure out where you want to be in two, three years, um, build some relationships and networks and ask those people, what are the sp specific skills and tools that you use? And then go and learn those things. Because when you apply for a role and you're writing in your cover letter, and I'm a big um, you know, believer of cover letters, not just relying on a CV, but a targeted cover letter and telling the hiring manager, you want to work in this role and these are the actions you're taking about it or these are the things that you're learning. It shows that you know what you're talking about and you just need the right environment to give you an opportunity. So you might not be doing the job, but you're pretty close to actually being able to do it because you've got the skills.